Contained in that was a, uh, a very poorly edited um, snippet of a, uh, of a security video taken from the uh, store in, in Ferguson uh, shortly before, about 12 hours before uh, Michael Brown returned to the store and shortly before he was shot. That has generated some inquiries and, and questions from both the public and from the, the media regarding the content, the source, the origin of, of that particular video. The video is indeed security uh, footage from, from the market that night. Um, on August the 14th, the county police uh, during the investigation were advised that Michael Brown had uh, come into the store somewhere around midnight uh, and according to the employees talking to the, uh, to the police that day had attempted to steal something. They, uh, they also indicated that it had been captured on the uh, security video. So, uh, we secured a search warrant to obtain the, the, uh, the uh, hardware and the hard drive. Everything's downloaded on the hard drive, on, recorded on a hard drive in, in this entire system. In a nutshell, what that shows is that, it, that uh, Mr. Brown entered the store, uh, entered by himself, but arrived with other people who never got out of the car, went back to the uh, cooler, uh, got a couple cold drinks out of the cooler, went up to the, to the uh, there is no audio with this, by the way, but went up to the counter, uh, clearly ordered or asked for a couple boxes of cigarillos. The clerk put those in the bag along with the, uh, uh, along with the drinks that he had. Uh, Mr. Brown put something on the counter. There's a discussion clearly going on there. Everything's in the bag. Mr. Brown uh, and the clerks were examining whatever it was he put on the, uh, put on the counter. Um, Mr. Brown had a discussion with them, picked up the bag, started to walk out of the store. One of the clerks said something to him or more. Uh, he returned, put the bag back on the counter, uh, continued a discussion with them, and then took something off of the counter itself and walked out of the store. The clerks then, as the entire video shows, the clerks then took the cigarillos out of the, uh, out of the bag, put them back onto the, uh, onto the rack behind the counter, Another clerk took the cold drinks and back to the, uh, back to the uh, cooler and put them back in the cooler. That, that whole video was examined, certainly very on in this. We were well aware of it. Of course, we issued the search warrant in order to obtain it. It was determined early on, this is not new, everybody knew about it. It was uh, determined that it was neither relevant nor material to anything that occurred later that day around noon in the store or on Canfield Drive. 